So, uh, as, I, as I said, um, site specificity is, is also uh, a significant feature of the art wall gallery. Um, it, and I promise to go back quite far. <laughs> so, uh, the, the whole space where the uh, gallery um, is, is located um, was, was part of the redevelopment of this area called Letna. Uh, in the 1950s, they were building a monument of Stalin there, um, which was uh, later demolished. But what stayed there is, is that um, wall that flanks the embankment of the uh, Lutava River. So this, this is the demolition of uh, the monument. And uh, along the river, because the river you cannot see, it's, it's just underneath it. Um, yeah, here is uh, the space, how it looks now, without any, any installation. So, so these, these are the, the, uh, the vertical panels, or niches, um, which are used for the gallery purposes. Uh, it belongs to the municipality, and um, there's eight, eight panels. The size is approximately four times two meters each. And uh, this is a first exhibition, or first one uh, time exhibition, uh, which predated the gallery's existence. Um, it took place in the year 2000, and it was initiated by a Czech-American artist living in Prague, or living in the Czech Republic, Barbara Benish. Um, and this um, was part of, or it was an offspring of uh, this big project of the Center of Contemporary Arts, which was uh, targeting the public space and uh, site-specific arts. Um, so Barbara Banish was actually, was always very much provoked, or she felt drawn toward this um, space on the wall, or in the wall. Um, so Flower Power was a one-time exhibition, but really this, the, uh, the continuous program started in the year 2005 with the exhibition of Lenka Kodova. And that was, that was while uh, the, the curatorial uh, decisions were uh, done by Ludwig Hlavacek, who um, the, the Center of Contemporary Arts Director. Um, the, the, the Center had an annual call for artists, for, for, for projects. And um, it was, um, yeah, I'm not gonna show you all the projects that they did, uh, but it was uh, approximately five projects per year. Um, this is a, a group, Czech group called Podebal, and um, the project was called Flagellants, um, and it was dealing with uh, the traumatic historical moments of the, um, Czech history. Um, yeah. Another detail from this. Project. Um, and the children are basically apologizing for the mistakes and assuring us that we, 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 you don't have to suffer anymore because we are going to suffer, like the children are going to suffer for us. Well, and then in, then comes the year 2008, and I already said that um, you know independence is always very fragile when it comes to uh, um, a, a space which is. Um, owned by the uh, municipality. So here, uh, group Humagular came up with an idea to uh, present a, an art um, project which was directly, critically targeting uh, whereabouts of the municipality or the Lord Mayor of uh, the time. And um, they decided to parody a campaign which was uh, running in support of the idea that, that Prague should become a host for the Olympic Games. Um, so you can uh, actually, I'm going to show you the original campaign, which uh, was paid by taxpayers' money, and it was quite a huge campaign. Of the slogan, or logo, slogan was, was uh, "We are all part of a national team," and it featured various um, actors um, pretending they're, they're performing sports. And um, then Gumagwar came up with a, a mock campaign which uh, appropriated the logo and the slogan, but inserted famous or infamous uh, criminals connected with the bribery and uh, corruption, and some of them having very good uh, political contacts. Um, and obviously, um, the mayor felt like he's under direct attack. Uh, first, um, someone unknown damaged the images, so you can see that damage on uh, the right-hand side image. 
And uh, later on, uh, the municipality of Bucharest wants us to uh, cancel the leasing contract with, with, uh, with the gallery, with the Center of Contemporary Art. So, so this is, this is um, the, the end, but then um, three years later, um, after the changes in, in the municipality, finally the um, mayor was gone, and it was possible to re-establish the gallery. Um, and uh, um, this, this is actually like I'm, I'm, this is where, where I came in. I was, I was just that was actually the first uh, exhibition which I co-curated um, together with Ludwig Malachek, and like it was <laughs> it seemed like it's going to be the last. Uh, but nevertheless, um, after three years of, of trying to to uh, revive the space, uh, I I mean. We succeeded, and now I'm using plural now because uh, from from this point on uh, there was a um, at like at least three curators. Um, one of them is Petra Modička, who is uh, also an active artist. Uh, the other being Marketa Belešova and uh, me. Marketa is a graduate from New Media Department, which is more of like a theater theoretician uh, uh, coming from a uh, history background. So it's this. Uh, cooperation between artists and uh, theoreticians. And uh, we were really glad that we could start the, the gallery or open, reopen the gallery with uh, Moina's uh, presentation because we thought that it's, it's like somehow symbolic that uh, Magoar was, was the, their exhibition was uh, the pretext for, for closing the gallery and that we could reopen with the project which was dedicated to Moina. Um, and um, it was it, it reused their older performance uh, piece, uh, which consisted of, of these, these mock hangings uh, done in a large uh, warehouse uh, store, um, and then they, they hanged people who were pretending to be uh, either uh, gays or um, or uh, migrant workers. And then uh, the the um, text would read, like for instance, this one says. I did not offend the head of the state, uh, so, and this, this, these were, they were all uh, somehow using various um, uh, charges that were, that were risen against the uh, royal at that time. Okay, um, then I would like to talk about this new periods of, of um, art wall. I would like to briefly mention a few projects which were really provocative or which somehow uh, hit uh, a sensitive spot like this art of killing uh, dedicated to the expulsion and uh, sometimes uh, killing and torturing of uh, Sudeten Germans after the war, which are all uh, documented cases where they're restaged using various types of uh, dolls and action figures. Um, this, is, uh, this is actually a project that made it quite far. Uh, um, even um, German TV was, was uh, airing it. And there was, there was actually a wave of, of uh, hate mail, and um, the artist was threatened uh, by death threats. Um, so so that, was, that was one, I would say, uh, from the point of view of, of uh, getting a message across, it was a, a, book, it was a um, successful show. Another project that I'd like to mention was this uh, Center of Competition for Czech Roma Flag by Tomáš Rafa, so I don't know this. Um, and uh, it, it consisted of, of this, um, um, as if a competition for, for a new Czech Roma flag, um, um, and a com committee of experts um, on, on uh, Roma uh, matters, containing actually Roma experts, uh, selected seven flags that were like, displayed on art wall. And um, there were, again, there was, there was a wave of um, public uh, outcry um, because people, some of them were actually tricked into believing that this is going to be some sort of, like, this is meant seriously, this is for real. Uh, but also many uh, Roma people protested because they thought of, we, uh, this was some sort of gajo idea um, and they were trying to impose this uh, Stupid flag on us, and we have our own flag. So eventually, the Mashrafa uh, got also insulted. The, the project was so basically uh, sprayed over, and the Mashrafa was fined um, um, a symbolic fine. It was only two thousand Czech crowns. Um, 
which is hundreds of euros, but um, it, it, uh, it was to us, it was obviously unacceptable. Um, so we, we uh, fought back at the gallery and eventually we had a chance to, to, pursue, to, to um, get a final decision uh, as of last year. Uh, sometimes uh, in, uh, in December, it was finally decided that the Mahirafa did not commit any, um, any crime, that it was, it was not violating uh, or, the, or, or defaming the flag, and, and um, that all charges were dropped. Um, and this is, this is how he was actually fined for further defaming of the Czech flag. Uh, we also tried to target other um, issues that might be relevant, um, like um, uh, adoption or um, lesbian parenting uh, in this project of Anachipa, Marple Immaculate Conception, or Prashta uh, boys who are here, some, some of them, um, um, made this project specifically for, for uh, our goal targeting the, the, the uh, Crimean situation, and uh, now it seems like like with the Masharafa, there was actually a coincidental uh, surge of, of uh, unsighted Roma marches, which collided with the exhibition. And like I think, like what was going on in the east of Ukraine is still quite alarming. Uh, so it was a what you see was some sort of a vote for for integration or uh, annexation, annexing of. Uh, well, and now I'd like to conclude with the last exhibition, the current exhibition, which is dedicated to um, the um, activities of um, Czech squatting, uh, Czech squatters, and uh, it's uh, also a group show uh, called The High, The Sky High Above Us Is Ours, um, and uh, now we, we're actually cooperating with, with uh, people uh, from, from the um, last surviving Squad in, in Prague, uh, Cibulka, and then, and hope that that maybe you know something like this can can also help to raise a public discussion about the um, the uh, possibilities or what, like what is squatting actually telling us about the state of society today. Um, so I think like this is this is this is it. And uh, when I say to be continued, I mean that we'd like to I'd like to invite next um, representative of uh, Pugachka Festival, um, if it's possible. So thanks for, for your attention.